and so is Mel. Let's get this finals on the weg in three, two, one. Tetris. And VOV is the best anti SC Tetris player. Spaler. Spaler. <laughs> Is it Wing? Is it Mel? Let's find out. That's a great start for Wing in this game number one. Already needs to clean up a little bit. Opens up the right side. Only single ready. But uh, with a L piece or triple, Mel also not with the greatest with the greatest start. Thirty thousand points in, twelve thousand points in for my Winkers. Mel has a long bit of tendency on the right side, fills it in with a L piece, and is slowly but surely. Trying to clean it up, get the stack back under control. S and L dependency on the left side gets the L to the left side. Wing is clean at 28,000 points. Both players already burned 28 lines. Wing is a Tetris ready. And Wing with a Tetris, 74,000 points for Wing right now, 48,000 points for Mal. Mal has a little bit of dependency, it's not Tetris ready at the moment. We'll only burn a single with a J-piece. Wing with a Tetris. Mal is trying their hardest to get clean. As the JL dependency gets the, J uh, gets the L piece. And it is almost clean. Wing with a column 7 Tetris, 127,000 points. 62,000 points for Mel. Mel stack is clean. Great survival there from Mel in this first game of this final. The CTWC Benelux qualifier. That is correct. Mel hanging the red L piece. Needs something on the left. Thankfully, with a few burns, the situation's diffused a bit. So things could be done in that direction. There's the O piece. To get things clean. Now that third column is open, it's covered. Mel getting all the right pieces, but still trailing by about 100,000 points to wing. He's got a column three well going. Just needs the long bar for it. As per usual, there it is. We'll power Tetris for Wing and 200,000 points. But Mel is not looking in the best of situations. He's been set up, gets side. a T spin. Lovely T spin. Thankfully, that left side can be resolvable. What about that right side? Dirty Tetris ready. But Ooh. unfortunately, puts the J uh, L piece over to the right side right before the long bar. Otherwise, that was a very, very dirty Tetris. Yeah, that would have been cool, but I think Mel is just looking to clean things out ASAP. Uh, 120,000 points behind right now. Indeed needs to get that right side open. And some Tetris is uh, banged down. Oh, gets that... Perhaps a dirty well setup, but we'll not go for it. Yeah, all dependency there fills in DJ piece. Can go dirty. Doesn't want to go dirty. Goes for safety triple. And opens up the right side. Mel is safe. Scores a Tetris to top it off. Yeah, what a dig by Mel. Insane work to get things cleaned up. 
and would... in a somewhat relaxing state. We might forget it, but transition is coming in close. 69 to go for Mel. And, and Mel is still halfway up the stack. And you don't want to be there when 90 rolls on. Oh yeah, needs something on that left. Now gets it. Now on the left. Oh, oh hangs the long bar. And that's gonna be it. Game one goes to wing. 289 plays 147. And so wing, you can top out. You are one game richer in this final. This was the definition of a suffer game from Mel. But Mel yeah. thought through it, because you never know in classic Tetris. That's the thing. You never know in classic Tetris what the opponent would do. And if Mel got a great stack for transition and wing topped out early in post, anything could happen. So that's why mm -hmm. you should never give up. Wing and Mel are ready for game number two. So let's count them down. Count them in. in three, a two, a one, a Tetris. Tetris indeed. Mel is off. Wing is also underway. Both players just kind of trying to work through their stacks. Mel first with a Tetris. Wing will respond with a Tetris as well. Mel Tetris ready. Wing getting there. Burns down to readiness. Mel burns away from readiness as Wing scores their second Tetris to take the lead. Mel does have a cleaner start than in game number one. It isn't hard Definitely. to get it. Yeah. Scores a Tetris to retake the lead. Wing will take it for all of 0.5 seconds. As well takes another Tetris. Much cleaner start. As I have something in my mouth, so I'm sorry. Much cleaner is... start in game number two. 123 for Mel, 117 for Wing. Wing is Tetris ready, but it seems to be the storyline of this tournament for Wing that Wing just can't get the long bars in time. Oh uh, yeah, just like now, but previously that last Tetris was just in time. And but Wing is still trailing by about 30,000 points. A Tetris and a half. Make that a few burned lines as Wing responds with the Tetris. Mel will get a Tetris now. 170 plays 196. Really not that much between them. 4,000 points now as Wing get a te gets a Tetris. Mel's Tetris ready. But Mel also, Wing is also Tetris ready. Mel also has some cleaning to do. Indeed, that means Wing will have to... Well, has all the time in the world to score a Tetris as Wing gets clean, but covers the well at just the wrong time. What is a Wing to do? We'll get a Tetris to retake the lead just now. 223 for Wing, 207 for Mel. Mel clean, Tetris ready, waiting for a long bar. That's the long bar for Mel. Tetris, simul Tetris. Simul Tetris and Wing maintains that lead. But Mel will take it right back with the Tetris. Wing not quite ready for one just yet. Mel has one in the hopper. Wing readies one. There's long bars and a simul Tetris from both players, Mel leading by 5,000 points. There's a Tetris for Wing. And another for Mel. And another for Wing. It's 
some excellent performances here. They're going neck in neck, trading the lead. Like it's, you know. With candy to, uh, to give yeah, out. Like it's, like it's food in a food market. Exactly. 348 now for Mel. 343 for my Winkers. Wing is a Tetris ready. That's a long more for the Tetris. 366. It's just whenever one scores the Tetris, they take over the lead. Transitioning is coming up in less than 40 lines. We are nearing the 100 line mark. Nomori, thank you so much for the raid. Party of 11, welcome to the finals of the 2021 Benelux Qualifier, the NTSC Benelux Cup. Whatever insane. you want to call it. Yep. And it is looking insane. Less than a thousand points between them right before Wing breaks through the 400k barrier. Mel, about halfway up the stack, is looking to have a few holes forming. So needs to get those cleaned ASAP as Wing scores another Tetris to surpass the all-important 420k. Kazmel is right now just about ready to clean up and open up the right side. 15 lines. again. Yeah, 50 lines to go for Mel before the 19 transition. Is clean scores the Tetris 418. Wing is 12 lines away from the 19 transition. Score Tetris goes to 474. And Wing with the commanding lead just now. Five lines away from level 19. Mel will transition with a Tetris at 4.43. Wing transitions also with a Tetris at 5.02. Perhaps getting the level 19 points for that. So yeah, 5.06 plays 4.92. Mel seems to have clawed back some of that gap after the transition. But don't forget that Wing has that little bit more material to work with. Mel does have the advantage of being a hyper tapper. Wing is playing with Das. And it needs to be a little bit more careful with the stacking. Definitely, definitely. But is Tetris ready and gets a Tetris to go to 566? What is already shaping up to be perhaps the highest combined score of this tournament. This game, too, might have a 600k score from Wing. Mel, see if we can get Tetris it. Tetris ready. Gets the Tetris one off the bottom. 566 yep. for Mel now right now. But now there's trouble five off the bottom. And now holes are forming with a the Tetris. There's a dirty Tetris. For 598 and Wing is at 605. It's neck and neck. Mel oh, on level 23. T spin there for Mel. Both players are on level 23 right now. 610 for Mel. 612 for Wing. Wing needs to get some love to the stack. Indeed, indeed. There needs to be something on column 8. There's the long bar just exactly when he needs it. That right well is open again. Both players are clean. Plays 623. Players are clean and building for Tetris's wing. The first to a Tetris to go to 657. Mel is looking for that column three. No, it's going for a safety triple. Transfers to well from three to 10. 633 for yeah. Mel, 660 for wing. Mel wing is Tetris a, ready. Wing with a declined T-spin setup a little bit ago. Needs to be cleaned up now. There we go. There's a safety triple to a safety double. To be able to transition that stack back to the right. Mel has taken Mel the, lead. the lead. 731 for Mel. 672 for Wing. Keeping that stack low. Has cost Wing the lead. And now Mel. Needs to hold on a little longer. As Wing continues to give chase. 20 lines to go before the kill screen for Mel. will score a Tetris 771. Wing, Wing is trying. 22 lines away from the kill screen. 
but has a lot of weight on that hole. Row five. So that's going to need to be cleaned up. If Wing wants to have any chances, but, but hangs a T-piece and Miss drops all over the place and is going to top out both players simultaneously dropping out. But Mel uh, is the benefactor of the better score here. Just barely, but what insane score lines from both 778 plays 689. Can it get any closer than that? Or any more or any higher than that, that is. We'll wait we and know. see. Wing is ready. Wing is ready and so is Mel. One apiece as we go to game three in three, two, one, Tetris. Trademark Tetris. We got the trademark back, folks. Nice. There's Mel. Starting off early. Wing has also started. Both players starting clean. Mel with a Tetris. Wing will score a Tetris and both players have a Tetris each. Another for Wing. Mel now Tetris ready for Tetris number two. Can't seem to get the long bar, Mel. And so Wing will score a third Tetris in the meantime. Has to cover that right side. That one covers the right side. Yeah. But it's now being droughted, which is not good. But there's the long bar, finally. Goes to 61,000. Another Tetris for Mel. 84,000 points. 60, uh, 69, 96,000 points for my Winkers. Wing is a Tetris ready. Mel has a long bar dependency. Gets a long bar pretty quickly afterwards. And will be Tetris ready with a Z piece. Fragrant. <laughs> but yeah, for Wing, there is trouble up high. Needs a long bar, gets it. Oh, but covers a hole. That is trouble up high indeed. Needs to get that covered as Mel is clean and leading by two Tetrises. But seems to be working through it. As we speak, there's that hole open and it's covered and there's a Tetris. 20,000 points stand between Wing and Mel. But Wing with another hole in the stack that needs to be taken care of. Mel is in not much of a better shape but does clean it up just now. So there's a chance for a Tetris. Mel is ready for one. There it is. Wow, Tetris for Mel. 145 plays 187. Mel leads. Mel, Tetris ready. He is clean. Waiting for a long bar. That's the long bar for the Tetris. Wing setting up for column four. Column four, Tetris ready. That's that column four, Tetris. <clears throat> 179 now for Wing, 217 for Mel. Wing transitions the well from column 4 to the right side. Mel has a J dependency, fills it in with a long bar, creates a JL dependency. Of course, the Tetris first, 247 now for Mel, 204 for my Winkers. Mel with that 2 Tetris lead. Indeed, and Wing is just. Hoping to keep pace. Trying to... Hoping that Mel will slip up, perhaps. And there is a bit of a, a bit of a hole in Mel's stack that needs to be handled. Single Mino separating Mel from cleanliness. And now Wing is clean and ready to get a Tetris. Just needs that long bar. 
Come on, Longbar. There it is. Well, Pow Tetris for Wing. There's one for Mel as well. Well, Pow Tetris for Mel. 257 plays 285. Mel still in the lead and gets another Tetris to extend that, but Wing will fire back. So Wing is never that far behind. Truly a force to be reckoned with here. Both players have broken through 300k. 303 plays 311 with Mel leading by less than a Tetris. But Wing's got a bit of a hole in the middle, but gets it covered just in time for the Tetris's Pompey Heart! Our resident CTWC Tang fun fact provider, and also best chat mod, raids the stream for Game 3 of the CTWC Benelux Qualifier Final. Precision is coming up! Less than 20 lines to go. 352 for Wing, 360 for ML. Yeah, let's not forget Sidnev already gonna be going to CTWC thanks to Kingsman's Invitational. But. That is then, and this is now. And now, it's Wing against Mel for that other spot. 381 plays 390. Wing breathing down Mel's neck for the past little while as they're both one or two lines away from transition. Wing will transition first at 386. Mel gets a Tetris to 437. Gets another Tetris to 461. Wing, not the cleanest, which might open the door for Mel to go for tournament point here. But Wing is cleaning up as Mel is stuck a little bit. Can't seem to get the, the well open for a Tetris. Gets it now. 490k exactly for Mel as Wing has yet to go over 400k. But Wing is clean now with a column four well. Brilliant work. Doesn't want to risk it, Wing, that column four. Goes for triples, but... Oh, Mel is so bad. What is that? Five. Oh my god. 520. So, Wing, yeah. you need to go to... You, the, the, uh, Wing, you need to go to 521. 521,000 Five. points. Yeah, that ju that spire just happened. I looked away for a second and it just happened. Indeed. And Mel just <laughs> could not move things out of the way fast enough and had to top out there and then. So that is the score to beat and two Tetrises ought to do it. So Wing is... Admittedly, and justifiably, I'm going to say, playing it safe here. It's, uh, 50 lines to go before the kill screen and needs uh, 30,000 points. 521 is the magic number to be on tournament points, be on championship points. To be on free CTWC 2021 entry point as Mel is doing some level 29 practice. Wing is lining it out. I don't, I don't blame Wing at all at this point. He did choke a chase down in the semifinal previously. Three thousand so points to go. Or yeah, a wing. triple there. There Almost it is. There. there it is. It is done. Five. There it is. Yep. Completely done. And Wing is leading 2-1. So Wing, you can top out. GG's. Unless you want to Ben Mullen, in which case, uh, we haven't had that this tournament. So just, you know, run wild. <laughs> nope. Wing's going to top out. Fair enough. <laughs> But yeah, Wing is ready. We haven't had a ready from Mel just yet. Mel is running level 19 warm-ups. 
just looking to get that tapping back in. But ready now. So let's get game four underway. Count them in. Game four in three, two, one, uh, Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> En de vierde rondje is onderweg. Inderdaad. Game 4 is on the way. Mel looking to take it to game number 5. Wing looking to end it all. And take home Indeed. this Benelux qualifier. And still be the yeah. only one in the Benelux Discord server with a yellow name. Ups absolute domination from Wing. Definitely Wing again has is well decorated in some of these non-CTWC tournaments. I don't think I need to list them off once again, but... Wing has been seen winning quite a few tournaments, so he knows what it's like to reach the final and get those three hearts there. Mel, I don't think we've seen that happen for Mel just yet. Mel is so relatively sure. new. Yeah. So but a still... bright future for Mel, that's for sure. You can say that again. He has shown lots and lots of potential. But I don't think I need... <laughs> I don't think it's potential really when you're in the max out club. Just really showing what you got. And I'm sure that... Even if it doesn't work out for Mel, we might be seeing them... Within qualifying spots for CTWC. Either gold or silver bracket. 175,000 points for Mel, 152,000 points for my Winkers. Both players are. I wanted to say Tetris ready, but Wink just scored a Tetris and Mel just made himself Tetris ready. Another Tetris yeah. for Wing. 1,000 points is uh, the differential between these two right now. <clears throat> and there's another Tetris for Mel. Wing with a bit of a, a bit of a ravine there in the middle of their stack. Mel has broken through 200k. Wing still trying to clean up, but has also done so, but trailing by two Tetrises. So that's something to keep in mind, perhaps. Mel needs to get that single Mino off the right side. Needs to get that other Mino off the right side. Now three Minos. Lock the right well. Back to one, and Mel is clean. Gets a safety triple, seeing as that overhang cannot ex cleanly be resolved with a single tuck. So Wing has a chance to clean up and gets a Tetris to close that gap down to one Tetris. Lovely work here by both players. As Wing cleans up that right side, gets ready for a Tetris as Mel scores one. 285 plays 238 as Mel leads. Wing not quite ready for a Tetris, now is, but has formed a bit of a hole. So we'll try and cover the right side to get the thing in, but gets a Tetris to diffuse the tension just a tad and cleans up the hole in the process. Mel gets a Tetris to break through 300k, Wing with a line dependency. Can turn into a dirty Tetris. We'll take it to a dirty Tetris setup, but goes for that safety triple. Once again, builds it up for Tetris. So once again, goes for that safety triple. Once that right side open, yeah, easiest way to score a Tetris. It seems like at, at this point, his he's feeling more like, you know, the usual right side Tetrises. He doesn't want to be too wild with where he gets his Tetrises from. So we shall see. Mel. Where for? Mel 378. <laughs> <laughs> Wing 325. You gotta love the Discord delay. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. So uh, better luck tournament at uh, on site when <laughs> soon. Soon TM, but for now, we have Mel leading by about seventy five thousand points. Wing a little dirty, so Mel will capitalize on that with a tuck setup, more like a spin tuck, and another tuck to be Tetris ready. 356 plays 431 with Mel leading here. 10 points away from the transition. So players should really start keeping those stacks low to be able to handle that. There's a double from Wing to keep things in order. There is Mel as well. Three lines to go for Mel. Tetris is into the transition. Wink burns into it. Mel leading by over 120,000 points, but also that left side is not looking good for Tetris's. So Wink could, could perhaps claw a bit of that gap back. Wink is trying to get the stack under control. Needs Ooh, yeah. really wants that right side open. Has that right side open? Is a Tetris ready? Uh, not quite, but gets ready in a second, I'm sure. Mal hangs right. a square. 3, 545 now for Mal, 431 for Wing. Yeah, and that left side still looking precarious for Mel, but it's clean. So Wing is clean, Mel is almost clean, forms another hole on the left. It's almost as if Mel is kind of letting is letting off the gas pedal here, knowing that this gap is as big as it is. It's still over 120k, but Wing can still claw it back. Now Wing has the same overhang that Mel has done, except with a few more holes. Well, players do need to clean 449 for Wing, 561 for Mel. And this time, Mel is holding both players in a dig situation, though. Wing, with a dirty setup, will instead burn it down. Again, doesn't want those dirties. Mel is getting higher and higher on the right side. Oh, that's not looking good. And that gap is going down to 105k. Mel needs Swing something over to hang sale flat long bar tops out at 571,000 points. So wing to win this Benelux qualifier, you need to go to 572, 572,000 points. Yeah. Now Mel says I'm trash while scoring 571k. I will choose to doubt the statement. Trash doesn't bring you to a final. Yes, Trash indeed does not bring you to a final, wins you a game in said final, and makes you top out game four at 571. So, uh, doubt. 30,000 points to go for Wing. Oh, Wing with that Spire. Needs to tuck something in there, cannot tuck anything anymore. So we'll probably try and line it out, but I don't know how effective that's going to be. Might need to start getting some triples in. 20 lines to go before kill screen. Indeed. And Wing is now the one in a kill situation. Cannot get anything to the left. Oh. And unfortunately, that means Wing is not going to be taking it just yet. Ladies and gentlemen, this final would not be a final if it weren't a decider. One man's misfortune is another man's good luck, and Mel needed that. But yeah, it's two to two. All right, before we get to the final decider, take your drink, drink, take a sip, stay hydrated, just like Wing and Mel have been doing. Yeah, and just to answer the question I saw in chat, Wing over here is from Belgium, Mel is from the Netherlands. Unfortunately, we did not have any uh, Luxembourg players this time round, though we kindly invite them if they if they are anywhere to join us next time. Wing is ready for 
the final, final, final game. Final, 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 final. And so is Mel. Oh boy. Let's get this decider, this day beer underway in three, two, one. Tetris. Yep. This Di Pino Grigio, this Di Merlot is underway. Mel starting off first. Wing up next. And now the ultimate focus begins. Who can hold their nerve the hardest? Both players are stacking clean. Wing the first, no, Mel the first of two Tetrises. Wing right behind. Mel Tetris ready. Wing almost there. Needs an LJ. There it is. And now Mel has covered the right side. Wing with a bit of a hole will choose to cover the right side to clean it up. And now Mel, uh, Wing Tetris ready. Mel, something on the left needs to be dealt with as Wing is waiting on that long bar. There it is. Well, pow, Tetris for Wing. Both players with three Tetrises. Wing with another Tetris. 99,000 points. 79,000 points for Mel. Mel is a Tetris ready. Last second adjustment there on that Z piece. Gets a long yep. row for a Scorsi Tetris, but does need something onto the left side, either a T or an S piece. Gets the S piece over. Yep. But not before going for a double. So now needs to stack up again. Wait. Wing. Stacking high, stacking ready. There's a long bar. Well, pow, Tetris for wing. 129 plays 107. A Tetris separating our two finalists. In a final setting, it could not be closer. A simul Tetris, near simul Tetris, I would say. Increases the scores, but the gap remains constant. Mel gets a Tetris now to retake the lead. 153 plays 162. Wing now gets a long bar to retake that lead back. Oh boy. They are exchanging leads. They are neck and neck. Game number five. One game will decide it all. They are both Tetris ready. Wing yeah, with a Tetris. Mel with a Tetris. Both players almost simultaneously have broken through 200k. And Wing with the Tetris to take a bit of a lead. Mel has covered the right side. That opens the door for Wing to score another Tetris and extend a lead. 271 plays 214. Wing now sets up a lot of weight on that right side. As to the they burn, we'll clear it. I want a double ready. 274 for Wing, yeah. 243 for Mel. Wing will absolutely take that double if it means keeping that stack as low as possible. Tetris ready, row three. Yeah, and actually gets it. Probably the first dirty Tetris in a while from Wing. Mel just scored Probably. a column eight Tetris. Yeah. At this point, both players are know that they are formidable and they're both scoring pretty well. 325 for Wing, 271 for Mel. So Wing cannot let off the gas pedal. Mel cannot stop chasing after Wing. Mm. 40 lines away from the transition. Most of level 18 gameplay has been done already. There's a Tetris from Formel breaking through 300k. There's a Tetris for Wing going to 377. 
100 lines for both of them. So now we know their pace. As Wing breaks through 400k, and Mel scores a Tetris, 60,000 points separate the two of them. But how yes, are they going to this. stack for that 19 transition? You know, it's always between line one, 115 and one line 129. What are you going to do? Do you want to burn if you're high up? Or do you want to play risky and score Tetris? Yeah, they're currently looking to have a bit of a comfy level here. Keeping the top of that stack underneath the versus sign that we can see on the stream. With 10 lines to go, basically, as soon as they're ready, they get the long bars for those Tetrises. So that's good for them. 474 for Wing, 417 for Mel. As Mel continues to burn right before the transition, Wing will score a Tetris just under 500k right now. And will transition at 501. Mel covers the right side and performs an overhang. At the middle of the stack. Really needs a long bar. Can't long wait bar for something else. Transitions in mid midway up the stack at 423 something. And so Wing with the commanding lead here. Mel really needs, really is hoping that he gets all the points that Wing doesn't. But Wing stacks clean. Wing gets triples. Wing is getting Tetris ready almost. But that column 9 is proving to be a little bothersome, but gets it cleaned up. Mel is at 482, Wing's at 548. And Wing is stacking clean. There's a Tetris from Wing. 577 plays 486. Mel continues to give chase. There's a Tetris for Mel. 514 for Mel. Can't really afford to do something else, Mel. Needs to score those Tetrises. That is exactly right, Sir Macer. That is, you're basically hoping that you're getting Tetrises and your opponent does not. 545 for, yeah, for Mel. Go for it, go for it. <laughs> 590 for Wing. Wing Tetris ready. That's the long bar for Wing. Bar. 622, level 23 for both. Yep, Wing still maintaining about 70,000 points of distance from Mel. And Wing just keeping that stack low at this point. Hangs a bit of an L piece, needs a couple tucks, and needs to put something over on the left, preferably a long bar. Uh, so long as that comes over. But the long bar doesn't want to come. Relax. Yeah. And this is the time for Mel to catch up. 625 for Mel, 640 for my Winkers. We're back in action. Mel is behind the lines, has six lines in hand. So it's still yeah. anyone's game. Six. Mel has taken the lead. 658. Now for Mel. Mel hangs a long bar on column three. Needs to get a long bar into column two as we are nearing kill screen. 30 lines to go. For both players, that's the column 2 Tetris for Mel. 697, win stack is looking a little bit messy right now. Indeed, indeed, and Mel has broken through 700k. And Wing is looking to build something on the left side. Can Wing do anything? The stack is over the halfway point. Cannot hang anything on the light, on the left. And that is gonna be it! Ladies and gentlemen! Wing could not hold on, and your new Benelux NTSC champion is Mel. Not Sir Macer, it's Mel. Mel, you can top out. Mel, you can celebrate. You've defeated Wing. And there it is, hands go on the head. The smile comes on. What's a game number five? Francis. Oh, What's you... a game number five? It could not be any closer than this. 
and it was two yeah it was two 700k games that did it in the end and now has done it and now dethroned the pal champion <laughs> All righty, we gotta make it official. That we show a little bit of the brackets, and then we go back to Mel's face. And we gotta thank some people afterwards. But first, we're gonna make it official. Here it is. Mel wins the NTSC Benelux Cup, the official CTWC qualifier. Absolutely insane gameplay from Mel. Alrighty, that means that we gotta can thank some people. We are at the end of the TTWC Benelux qualifier. First of all, gotta thank the players. RVP Wing, Luco, Alp, Mel, Claver, and Art for participating and qualifying all through August and making time tonight to... Answer, yeah, that's That's not the problem right now. Not the thing right now. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Thank you for being here and make the Benelux proud. Let's show the classic Terrible world what the Benelux can do. Thank you, Polister, for joining me in commentary. Thank you, Elp, for filling in my spot on commentary on uh, when I played. Classic Tetris, thank you so much, Vince and Chris Forrest. Vince Clemente of Chris Forrest, thank you so much for what you do for CTWC both behind the scenes and organizing all stuff and all that. Lil Mac and Purpip are the designers for the layout that we saw. And Pollo Salazar, my good friend from good old Mexico, designed the backgrounds and the poster and flyer and you know what else. So thank you, thank you, thank you all very much. It was a pleasure to host this Benelux Qual. I mean, I gotta be say I'm proud of this community and proud of, of the Benelux and I can't wait to meet all of you. Indeed. And what can I say that a lot of very strong Tetris players in this community, particularly Sir Macer, very strong player, very strong commentator as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for organizing all of this and running it, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. That's that's all I can say. Alrighty. Um is Classic Tetris 2 is the Minnesota Qual is that over? I got to ask some people who are in chat cuz they know it better than I do. But otherwise we can rate them and otherwise we will look for someone else to rate <laughs> Let's have a look see here. It seems classic Tetris 2 is over. All right, then we're going to the chairman of CT CTL. Let's have some fun over there. Classic Tetris League Indeed. Division 7C. Oh, Fendi is playing, of course. We got to rate Modus. All right, thank you so much for joining me here on Classic Tetris. See you the next time. My name is Sir Mazer, and along with Paul Lister, wish you all a very happy evening, very happy day. See you the next time. Bye bye. Good night and boom Tetris. <laughs>